already in line, and I was like, ah, oh, okay, it's going to be like that. Um, and
So what's up guys? I'm back home from the limited run trip. Oh man, it was <laughs> it was a trip to be sure, but I had fun. So hey, hey, shouts out. Thank you, Hutch, for inviting me down, hanging out with you for that weekend. It was a blast. Uh that Saturday wore me out. Uh, besides getting there early at like 6.30 or so. And basically we, we, we didn't leave there until like, after, it was like almost, it was almost six o'clock that evening. So yeah, it was like a whole, con you might as well call it like a tiny mini convention almost. But most of it was waiting in line, like most conventions are anyways. Uh, here's what I got uh, from my, uh, trip and uh i'm sorry about the lack of footage um uh, especially in the store because they only limited like you for 15 minutes because of how long the line was like honestly we like i said we got there at 6 30 and it wrapped around that mall the upstairs and we didn't get in until it i think my time was like it was like at one o'clock that afternoon so it it was a struggle. Um, I mean, I was kind of glad because we, we were kind of, we were with a group. So it was kind of like we were able to walk in and out at moments to stretch and get, walk, you know, walk and check out what's going on in the tents down, downstairs and all that jazz. But this is what I got. I figured people would want to know like, hey, Hex, what did you get? And this is what I got. So I got Late Shift on the PS4. Uh, figured, hey, you know, getting into the FMV games. So we picked up Late Shift. We picked up Star Wars Bounty Hunter on the PS4. We got that. Uh, we got another FMV game, The Bunker, or like, uh, old buddy, uh, Dax the Animal on, on Twitch. Follow Dax, by the way. Calls it The Bunkler. Had to get it because of that. I'd love to play that on the stream. So we got Star Wars Racer Revenge on the PS4. We got Star Wars Episode One Racer on the PS4. Um, I'm kind of slightly bummed because I picked this one up and I realized, oh, I got the Star Wars uh commando and racer collection that has republic commando and this game packaged into it so but i think this one is just like hey stand alone and it comes with like a booklet because it's pretty hefty so i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna hold on to this one but uh i got it uh i got erica on the ps4 another fmv game definitely gonna check that out uh sounds very interesting and I think you can play it with your phone, actually. So, mm. kind of like hidden agenda. Uh, we got Misha Gur Misha Gurmi Kami Hakate. I probably butchered the hell out of that, but we got that. Uh, it sounded awesome, and I'm kind of into these Japanese niche games. So, oh, like a hack and slash. So, got that. We got Panzer Dragoon on the PS4. Uh, haven't played it yet, but uh, definitely wanted to get into the series, so definitely going to check that out. We got Mighty Switch Force Collection on the PS4 from the team at Way Forward. Uh, you probably know them from their works from Shantae to River City Girls, so pick that up. All right, <clears throat> got the big box limited run Shantae that kind of looks like the Game Boy uh, box, but I got it. I got it for the Nintendo Switch. I also got, hold on a second. Let me see if I can just set this down real fast. I'll set this down real fast. I don't know if I can just, this is probably not going to work. It's not working. I need to, oh, this sucks. Okay. 
it has a copy of 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 uh Shantae on Switch inside of this. Uh that's all it is. It's just a huge box to display it. It was exclusive, I think, at PAX and at this grand opening. Um I got it signed by Matt and Aaron Boson, the creators of Shantae. So hell yeah, the copies and the copy inside is signed by it. So I got that and I also got Man. The also Risky's Revenge, the sequel. That's also in a big box, and I had it also signed as well. There was a lot of people there getting their they had a massive line uh, for people to sign up. And we were in front of a few people that were just like, I have your entire discography, your entire history. Please sign every game. And it was just like I think one person was signing them because they were doing it for uh, charity or something like that with their streams or whatever, as I overheard it, so that was cool, but there was another guy that was just like, I have every game that you ever made in your entire life, please sign it all, and it was just like, they should have been done sign, like, they were should have been done signing at four when the whole event ended, and we were still there at like six, so... I don't know. I could be wrong. He could have also done it for charity. I have no idea, but, you know, I'm kind of one of those. It's like, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time. You know, I just want to thank you for what you've done. Maybe say a few things, and then I'm out. So, I don't know. I'm just that nice to, I guess, creators or whatever. You know, short and sweet. Um, But to each its own. I totally understand. You get starstruck. Uh, I got... Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the Super Nintendo variant box, still sealed. Um, bam, check that out. Ooh, that looks cool. Uh, I got the Switch version. There's a PS4 version, but I got the Switch version because it's in a Nintendo box. So, I had to do it. Uh, we got the River City Girls... Uh, NES box that has the full soundtrack inside. doesn't have the game. But I had the game on Switch. So, if I wanted to put a game in this, I'll just put the Switch game in there. But I also got it signed by the, the directors of River City Girls. So, hell yeah, that's cool shit. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, thank you so much for that. Their line wasn't as crazy as uh, uh, the uh, the Bozones. Uh, I think I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. Uh, of course I got a ginormous, enormous, I still got my uh, limited run retail bag. So, hey, shouts out to that. They also gave me a tote bag to put all our stuff in. So, look at that. Took that out. That's cool. Shouts out. Um... What else we got? Just making sure here. Nothing really too massive. Uh, I mean, I got my copy of Mega 64 Last Laugh signed. I ran into the Mega 64 crew multiple times. Uh, they are always a treat. Their videos are awesome. Check them out on YouTube if you haven't already. Hilarious guys. They've been around since 2003 and that's as long as I've been following them uh but thank you uh thank you to the crew that was there I don't know if you can see it but I got it signed damn that's cool they have ins and outs of it limited run actually create uh did the uh the work I mean basically like distributing them did the work on that so that was cool. They were there. Uh, shouts out to them. I picked up a t-shirt and uh, some playing cards for them. And then Sean turned around at the end of it and gave me a, a second pack of, of uh, playing cards of theirs. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I might do a giveaway on those. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I got them right here. So, it's like a playing cards. So if you know the Sight Freak uh, videos, uh, yeah, that's what these cards are based on. It's hilarious. Can't wait. 
Um, and then they did, give me a sec. Oh yeah. I got my River City Girls PS4 signed. Uh, but I decided on this one, I had the inside. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. I don't know if I want to just like pop it out. Yeah, I'll just pop it out and show you guys. Sorry. Sorry for the weird angle of everything here. I'm trying to like off the cuff here. There you go. They signed it up there inside the, the, the disc art. Or the uh, cover art, I should say. Which is cool. So, had to get that. Um, originally, I was just going to have him sign this. But then I saw the uh, soundtrack and I went, let's do it. Let's go for it. So, bam. Uh, other than that, they did these $35 limited run boxes. There was like, build your own custom box. And it was normally like extras that they had um, of like parts to their collector's editions uh, that they had bundled up. And it was basically, you know, like it, it incomplete stuff. I think stuff they re-ran and everything that they were holding. <laughs> Excuse me. In case people were saying their like stuff was broken or whatever. Um, I picked up out of it. Because it was like you could do like two soundtracks in a steel case or two steel cases in a soundtrack. I went with the two soundtrack route. So I got the soundtracks to both No More Heroes and No More Heroes 2. Bam. Had to. Uh, recently played No More Heroes 1 on stream. And that was, uh, that was, a, that was a blast. I loved it. So hell yeah to that. Uh, got the Streets of Rage 4, uh, PS4 Steelbook. So hell yeah to that. That looks, that looks sick. Put my game in that. Um, I don't know if I want to unfold it all, but basically I got a Blaster Master Zero 1 and 2 poster that came with their collector's thing. Uh, don't. I don't want to really unfold that or try to unfold it while I'm on stream or on here. I'm trying to make sure there wasn't anything else. That might be it. Uh, oh. And there was like three little items that you could pick up afterwards. That poster was like, it was like three little trinkets after you got those that went with the 35. So I got the Blaster Master Zero poster and then I got the Gunvolt and Joel little little cool uh, acrylic stands. I got those. And those came with the uh the Gal Gunvolt Blast or the Mighty Gunvolt Blast uh or Burst I should say uh collector's edition which I think I have over yeah, I have it over there. Over there. This 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 whole room is still a work in progress. This is just where I stream, I got my Mega Man collection over there. Oh. Uh, I got the Gal Gunvolt Burst card for doing a survey. They had ladies walking up and down, like, trying to get... Uh, I think you might have saw them in the video. Uh, walking up and down. Getting people to do a survey. I guess it was basically, I guess, to gauge to see where everyone was coming from. Or how far you came from. So, hey, I drove... In, I drove nine hours out to North Carolina for this. So, well, this and seeing friends and hanging out with people. So, I, I have no regrets. Hey, I got to try, you know, I got to visit Bucky's and Sheets and uh, uh, Oak City Meatball <laughs> Restaurant, which was fantastic. Shouts out to Cody for suggesting that. Hell yeah. And uh, I got also... I got like a bunch. Oh my god. Ooh, I got a gold one too. I got a bunch of uh grand opening limited run cards. The one on the top is a gold printed one. So that's cool. And then of course I got the signature retail one. So apparently you shop in the retail store, 
you get that card if you're into collecting the cards. Uh, I'm not like super huge, but hey, I got it. And like I said, that's that's that. That's what I got. Um, I was hoping maybe I would finally I get like the collector's edition of like I think everyone else was wanting to get the collector's edition of Pirate's Curse on Switch because that would have rounded out my collector's editions of those. Uh, and they had like a small, small number, but basically everyone who, uh, camped out for basically a couple of days or out there in that area, got them. They had people camping out overnight. We were under the impression, a lot of people were under the impression because of the, uh, FAQ they put out to everyone saying, Hey, don't line up in the middle of the night. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, the security is going to escort you out of there, but apparently they let people line up in the middle of the night. Um, and no one kicked them out. So I guess security was off that day. Um, so I, I'm not butthurt about it. It's, it's cool. Uh, it just sucked. Basically, if I knew that, maybe I would have, maybe I would have dabbled. I don't know. Um, but yeah, other than that. I will say, shouts out, this is the this is the best one yet. I've spent a big amount of money, so shouts out. Hey Matt. Mega Man 8 on the Sega Saturn. That's pretty that's pretty cool, right? And uh Yeah, I got that. So uh yeah, video's over. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh take it easy. Be good to yourself, be good to each other, stay safe out there. And as always, I'll catch each and every single one of you on the next video. Or on, on Twitch. You can follow me there. Twitch.tv slash H-C-H-E-C-X-Z. -E Until then, in between then, peace. Hey, turn, turn, turn it off.